What's up guys, it's the Cheapster and today I'm going to be talking about 12 different ways that you can save money. So starting out with number one, and these aren't in a specific order or anything, is not eating out as much. A lot of people go out two or three times a week, maybe even more, and that really adds to how much you're spending throughout a week. So just cutting back on that, cooking meals at home, um, and not going out as much can really help you save money. But on the same lines as that, you can also look for happy hour deals or coupons online. Uh, to be able to save money, maybe even still go out the same amount, but save as much as if you're only going out once a week. Um, so you can look around online to find places that have good happy hour deals. And sometimes you can go out maybe two or three times for the price that you would go out once if you got a good happy hour deal. Um, and there's also coupons online for a lot of places. So you might find like a, a buy one, get one free or 20% off your check or something. And that can help you save money. But you could also just go out still one time and use happy hour deals and coupons and save even more money. Number two is a pretty important one, and that's just cutting out unnecessary expenses. Um, so some really unnecessary expenses that people usually have are maybe they don't watch cable very much and they have it, or maybe they have a, a landline um, phone or um, a gym membership. I know there's a lot of people that, you know, you get the gym membership and you think, oh, I'm going to go, it's a New Year's resolution, but then it's August and you still haven't gone and you're paying 20, 30, maybe even more dollars a month. So just cutting those things out, being honest with your expenses. Maybe you think, oh, hey, I want cable, I'm gonna use it, but if you don't even really use it that much, then just cut it out. Um, and there's so many different things, especially for cable that you can um, go to, whether it's YouTube is a great one, or uh, Netflix is only $12.99, or you can save 50% if you watch this video here. But there's a lot of different things out there, Hulu, um, that can just help you cut some of those costs down. So just checking for those unnecessary expenses, especially the ones that come out of your bank account monthly. If you're not really using those, then just cut them out completely, uh, cancel the subscriptions, uh, but just other things too in your day to day, whether that's like taking taxis or Ubers when you could just be walking or riding a bike, uh, cutting things out like that, uh, it's really gonna come down to you to see what kind of things do you feel like you're wasting money on. Uh, but cutting out those unnecessary expenses can really help you save money. Number three is drink more water. So this is something that's also good for your health, but it's also something that can really help you save money. People don't realize how much they actually spend on drinking things like specialty coffees or pop or um, alcohol. There's just a whole bunch of things that you drink on a daily basis that are costing you money. Um, and that's especially when you go out to eat or if you go out to a restaurant or something and order alcohol or a, a pop. A pop could cost like 250 or something at a restaurant when you could just go buy a can for like 25 cents at Walmart But you don't have to completely cut everything out But just drinking more water sometimes making those decisions to drink water especially at restaurants is gonna help you save money And it's better for your health too And I know everyone's gonna go crazy about the specialty coffees because everybody has their specialty coffee that they like Mine is an iced dirty chai vanilla latte. I love it. But cutting those things down um, maybe even just drinking plain coffee with some creamer and stuff um, I know it's not the best, it's not, it's not the same, but cutting those things down, maybe making those choices more often uh, will help you save money, but also just drinking more water. Um, I get it if you do need coffee in the morning or whenever, uh, but just choosing to drink more water, especially when it comes to making substitutions for like pop or tea or things like that. Drinking more water, it's, it's free and it saves you money. Number four is just don't carry debt. Uh, especially on credit cards. Credit cards have an interest rate of around 20% or maybe even more. And when you're carrying debt on those credit cards, that really adds up quickly and makes you spend a lot of money. Uh, but even besides credit cards, um, maybe you have a car that you can't really afford or a house that you can't really afford or just tons of different other things you could have, different loans that you may have taken out, um, school loans, trying to pay those back and just try to not carry debt on those things because that's really especially an area that is probably going to be costing you a ton of money um, out of this list that's probably the one that will cost people the most money is carrying debt so i would just advise you to check ways that you can get that debt down uh, i know dave ramsey somebody i recommend he uh, can really help people get out of debt if you're in a hole uh, but even just smaller things maybe you're not really in debt maybe you just have some credit card debt uh, just check it out look at your interest rate and look at how much money you're paying because i'm sure if you haven't really looked at it you're going to be shocked to see how much money you're wasting every month on your credit card so just getting out of debt as quickly as you can and staying out of debt is going to be a way that will help you save money so number five is being more conscious about things when you spend um, so especially when you're at like the grocery store uh, most grocery stores have a little sign down below the price tag that show the per ounce price or the per unit price um, so checking those out and really shopping um, the off brands and the things that have sales 
uh, can help you save a lot of money. And you'd be surprised if you're somebody who doesn't shop off brands much, uh, just buying something that's the off brand version of a brand. Um, I, I buy most off brand things and I've noticed that a lot of times if you have a good place like Walmart or Kroger, the off brands are just as good as the brands. And sometimes, especially at Kroger, there's been brands that are Kroger brand, um, off brand. And I've noticed that they actually taste better than the brands themselves. But just shopping around to see if you're getting the best deal uh, per ounce. Sometimes boxes are much bigger um, than what's really in them. And then a smaller box might actually be a better buy because if you check the per ounce uh, weight by the price tag, you can see that it may actually be better to get the box that's actually smaller because it actually has more in it than the bigger box. So just being conscious about that stuff and making sure that you're getting the best deal is really gonna help you save money. But there's also sales and coupons and stuff. There's a lot of different places that you can look uh, to find coupons online and uh, different ways you can get cash back. I know I just did a video on Ibotta. Um, so I'll put that I'll put that one right here, actually, right here. Um, so you can check that out to see uh, ways that you can get cash back on your grocery shopping, online shopping, and a whole bunch of other different things. And number six kind of goes with number five, um, and that's being mindful of the meals that you're making at home. Um, I already talked about the fact that if you're eating at home, you're gonna save money, but that's not always necessarily true because you could go to Whole Foods and you could spend more money there uh, getting some steaks and things that you could if you just went to a restaurant anyway. So it's about being mindful of the money that you're gonna spend. So whether that's making a meal plan uh, that you can keep track of how much money you're spending, uh, maybe just having some staples for the week. So maybe one night a week you have tacos because tacos are a pretty cheap meal that you can have. And who doesn't like tacos? So just planning out some of those expenses for your meals can really help because it really can get out of hand if you're really not keeping track of it and buying expensive foods at the grocery stores. Um, you could you can spend a lot more than even just going out to a restaurant. So trying to keep track of that and keeping the cost down is something that can really help. Number seven, and this is something that's a pretty important one too, because a lot of people are spending most of their money on entertainment. Uh, usually comes between food and entertainment. That's usually where you're gonna spend most of your money. Um, so just Number seven is choosing cheaper activities through your week. Um, so whether that's finding deals, uh, I know I used to have a movie theater that had Tuesdays, they would do $5 movies as opposed to I think $12 movies was what it was normally. And they would also have deals on snacks and stuff when you get there. So maybe checking out those deals um, in your local area, that can really help you save. But there's also free activities you can do. So a lot of places usually have free museums. There's always free parks. Um, just check out your area to see what kind of free activities there are around there and different deals that you can have. Um, I would recommend Groupon too because Groupon has a lot of activities on there that you can save money. Uh, they also have deals on there for eating out. So just choose cheaper activities that you can do to save money. And maybe that's just staying in and watching a movie or making your own fun at home. Or you can pick up a, an activity that's pretty free, uh, like something like playing tennis. Uh, usually you can find free tennis courts at a park and it's not very expensive to buy tennis equipment. I even found rackets at Goodwill before. Um, so just trying to find those ways that you can save money. Number eight is one that I think most of us need, probably for our health too, and that's just eating less. I think most of us can afford to eat less um, and it's just, a, it's a way that you can save money um, because you're, you're gonna be spending less money on food. So especially when you go out to eat, I know me and my wife sometimes will share a meal um, and maybe we'll eat a little bit at home but then go out and share a meal. And that just helps you not spend as much and it's just kind of better for your health, especially when you're going out because it's sometimes fattier foods when you eat out. So you're eating less of that and maybe you can eat more healthy food at home. Uh, but it just works for both. It works with your health and it works with saving money. So just trying to eat less, eat less at home, eat less anywhere. Um, unless you're really skinny, then maybe you don't need to eat less. But I think most of us can really afford to eat less and that will really help you save some money. And number nine can be kind of smaller unless you have a lot of money. Uh, but this is something important because it's a way that you can really just make some easy passive income. And that's by having a savings account. Uh, I'm not really going to be talking about like different investments right now, but this is just something simple that you can do. You can have a decent interest rate savings account. So I know I have Ally and it's, it's a little over 2% interest that I get from Ally. So it seems like that's kind of small, but when you have, if you've got some, some money laying around and you stick it in there, you'll notice you'll be getting some money out of that every month. And that's just something you don't even really have to deal with. It just makes money every month and just leave the money there. So that's another way that you can save money. And I know there's a lot of different uh, savings accounts out there. You can check credit unions or um, 
different online banking accounts that give you good interest rates. I don't even think Ally is actually the number one best right now, uh, but it's a great bank. I've had it for a while and I, I really like them. But this is just a really passive way that you can save some extra money where you really don't have to do anything but leave your money there. And tip number 10, uh, this is a pretty important one also, is shopping secondhand. So you can shop at the thrift store, eBay, uh, just any place that you can find secondhand stuff. Uh, you can usually get good deals there. I know I shop at Goodwill a lot. I actually used to sell things that I would find at Goodwill on eBay. Um, and there's a lot of good things there. It, it's not just um, a bunch of worn out clothes and different items. You can usually find things that are pretty new. I know I found things that have that are brand new that have tags on them. Um, so it's about searching through that and just trying to find stuff that'll work for you. But I mean, you can find shirts that cost you like three or $4 that maybe like $40 if you bought them new and they might be in pretty much perfect condition anyway. So that kind of stuff can save you a lot of money. And it's not just clothes, they also have books and uh, different household items that you could buy there. Um, just go check out your local Goodwill because I guarantee you'll be surprised. And it's also just a fun activity to do, uh, to search through the racks to see what you can find. Um, sometimes you'll find some pretty fun, interesting things. So just go check that out. But on the same lines there, um, eBay is a is a great uh, website. I love eBay. I'm also a seller on eBay. eBay just has everything because it's just sellers selling their stuff. So I know I buy most of my things secondhand and um, eBay kind of gets a bad rap that it's not like a great place, but really it is. And they've got lots of guarantees now um, that if something's messed up, you can get your money back. So check out eBay for anything you might need to buy because like I said, they really have everything you can think of. Um, and it's just a place that you can really save some money. So there's a lot of times where you don't really even care too much to have something brand new and you could buy it on eBay for maybe 50%, maybe even more of the price of what it actually is. So eBay just has lots of great deals. So I would check that out. Always try to buy secondhand if it's not that important to have it new because you can really save a ton of money right there. Tip number 11 is really important and that is having a budget. Now this will also go together with um, the not carrying debt tip um, and that's just keeping a budget together is really going to help you um, to know what you're spending and it's very hard to save money and keep a hold on your spending if you don't even know what you're spending on or what you should be spending. Um, so having a budget together is really going to help you with that. An app that I recommend is Good Budget. It's an app on the uh, App Store and I've been using it for years. Um, I know I'm going to be doing a review on it soon, but Good Budget is a great app that you can start with uh, where you have different envelopes to put your money in and you can make sure that you're keeping track of everything. I don't think enough people really do budgeting these days and I think it's really important because it will really help you see where your money's going and that can help you cut things out so that you can say, hey, I will actually wanna save this money for this. It just helps you know exactly where your money's going and that's a huge thing in saving more money. And the last tip, tip number 12, is just getting a side hustle. And this isn't really saving money on the money you already have, but if you're trying to have more money, just getting a side hustle is something that can really help. And there's so many different things you can do today. You could do a ride sharing thing like Uber or Lyft, uh, work for one of those companies, or you can deliver food. You could work for Uber Eats, Grubhub. I used to work for Grubhub. I really recommend them. I think they're a great um, delivery service. And there's just a whole bunch there for the food delivery, Postmates, Bite Squad. Um, and your local area is going to be different based on all those different um, delivery services, what's going to be the best. Um, and then there's also stuff like grocery shopping. I know there's Instacart and Shipt. Um, you can shop for people and deliver their groceries. There's also websites online that you can um, get paid for certain skills that you have. Uh, that's like Fiverr or Upwork. Um, I've not had very good experience with Upwork, but I know a lot of people do. Um, and you can get paid for, you know, maybe you're a graphic designer or you write songs or, you know, whatever it is, you can get paid for certain skills that you have on some of those websites. Or maybe even you have some skills that you could put on camera. And I think there's a website that you can put that stuff on and you can make some money. Just can't remember what it is. Or maybe not even a side hustle, maybe you just get a part-time job. Just bringing in more money will help you obviously save more and when you're working more, that also gives you less time to be spending so you save more money even doing that. That's genius. So just try to make more money um, in whatever way you can and obviously you'll save more money by doing that. And bonus tip number 13 is to do the cheapest thing you can today. Like this video, also subscribe to this channel because tips on this channel will also help you save money. Um, and I'm gonna be putting out a lot of stuff. So subscribe to the channel if you like my content. But hopefully this is a good start to help you guys save more money. There's a lot of different things out there that you can do to save money. 
And a lot of it's just gonna be on you deciding that you don't wanna spend money on certain things. But if you've thought of other ways to save money, let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to read it. Thank you guys for watching the video, and remember, stay cheap. So much dating.